be careful because we are both It is a good day. We are going to be unboxing this package from Tom Patterson, also known as Hardcore Arachnids. Check out his website. But he's a homie, he's the realist. Love Tom, don't tell him I said that. Uh, also can't stand him. You guys know Tom, I don't I don't need to introduce him, honestly. But this box of spiders came from him as a gift, so shout out Tom. I'm pretty stoked, okay, so these are going to be some Phytopus species that I have yet to keep. I've already prepared a bunch of enclosures. It just would have been way too long of a video if I did that like right now. So the enclosures are already made. They are all tarantula cribs enclosures. I'll give you guys a closer up look once we rehouse all the spiders, but I really just wanted this video to be a focus on unboxing the spiders and getting some good close ups and talking a little bit more about those. Let's go. Yay! <sighs> these are so cool. I love the backgrounds on these with the cork and the leaves. And are these some H. David Bowie's? I bet it is. Super cool. I'll set these aside because I do have some Patreon welcome letters, actually quite a stack due once again. And so every time I get caught up on those, I always include Tom Patterson stickers because he is generous enough to send us these. So thank you, Tom. Okay. Wait, 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 is this a package from Tom? I don't know if this is actually a package from Tom because this is not New York newspaper. What, what is, what is this, Tom? I, I'm sending this back. I don't think I can unbox this without the New York newspaper. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, okay. There could have been more, but th this is, this is better than nothing. Here we go. I bet they're gonna be upside down. Nope, perfect, and oh my goodness, so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good, I prepared enough enclosures. I, I asked him how many he was sending and he said seven, so here we are, we have seven enclosures ready to go. And I did prepare smaller enclosures because he did warn me that some of these are quite small. Phytopus tyrelli, I've never kept this species. They are so cute, I can already tell. Look at that abdomen. Let's get let's get a little bit closer. Look at that. These are gonna be fun. I bet they're very quick. And then we also have this Phytopus borealis. Now I heard there was some debates going on, and, and apparently they're very easily confused with Phytopus johnsoni. I I've, I've heard that they like inhabit the same areas. They have some very similar features. So I can't imagine like it's easy to really tell them apart. So I know that that was kind of up in the air if if these ones were Phytopus johnsoni or Borealis. It looks like Tom did his research and has determined that they are Borealis, which is what they're supposed to be. But if you guys have any input, uh, feel free to comment down below. Always welcoming that. But as you see, he's labeled different color forms and this M is going to be a male. So I mean, possibly we could do some kind of breeding projects. You guys know I'm trying to get more into breeding and vending here locally so that would be really awesome if something like that would work out but yeah he was not kidding these guys are quite a bit smaller I did prepare some smaller enclosures so this is gonna work out great oh my goodness did you molt it almost looks as if he did I'm gonna try to be really careful because I have a feeling we're gonna be fast yes we are there he is so that is a male huh I don't even know how you can tell some of these apart because the mature males look so similar. What a cutie. Let's go ahead and just put him in an enclosure. You're pretty cute. So I guess I'll give him this one. I'll get some video up closer to these, but I really like how some of these came together. So I'm going to make this really easy for us today. And there you go. There you go. He's like, I don't know, he's not sure, that's okay. There he goes, and hopefully he'll get a nice drink of water because sometimes these little adventures can be quite exhausting and dehydrating. Really fun enclosure I put together though. As you see, I already misted them just in preparation. Jumping spiders can be a little sensitive to shipping, so I just wanted to be prepared and make this as quick as possible. But yeah, one down and uh, six. Six to go. Who am I gonna give these bigger enclosures to though? Because like they are pretty small. So let's kind of see what, who's bigger and who's smaller. So these are the Borealis. 
This is a pretty big one. So I think this one could definitely do a bigger enclosure. I think the Tyrelli are smaller. Well, one, two, three. Honestly, like it would be fine. Like they're all fine to go in the big ones or the small ones. Since this one is the yellow color, I'm gonna put it in one of my enclosures that I think will complement it. Check this one out. I love how this enclosure came out. Actually, um, I went up to Tropical World Pets this morning. One of them cut this piece of spider wood for me perfectly. Because remember with these enclosures, it's best to glue it on the top so that their web hammock doesn't get destroyed when you open it. But I also have this really cute little hide that I got from Gummies and absolutely adorable. This is one of my favorite enclosures. So here we go. Hi. Wow, it actually is yellow. Oh, there's a teeny, do you guys see that tiny, tiny cricket? What is that? What are you doing? That is like the size of a fruit fly. That is the smallest cricket. There's that yellow. It's like a very pale yellow, and oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good in that enclosure that I prepared for it. What a cool color pattern though. This is unlike any other Phytopus species I've kept, and I'd like to see the face, but again, we're trying to be really chill. We don't wanna lose anybody. Oh my goodness, cute little fluffy face. I am in love. What an adorable little face. Here, I wonder if I could get you to go, get you to go right on this. Oh, silly. Where do you think you're going? Oh, whoa. Quick little guys as I anticipated. There we go. Whoa, 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 so fast. Quick, super duper quick, but there we are. I hope it likes it. All right, so that is two down. Let's keep going. All right, this gray one, I wonder what are we looking like? You are adorable. Hello, hello. Green chalice array. Yeah, I feel like this one is actually slightly larger than the other ones we opened. So I'm gonna actually put this in one of the other enclosures I made. I think this will be perfect. Cute little face. Wow, this one is so gorgeous. These look Amazing, I'm super excited. I guess let's go ahead and send you off into this. Go on. There we go. <laughs> really calm rehousing there. It looks super cute on its little gray cloud. All right, so that is three down, four more to go. Let's do the red Borealis, and we'll use this enclosure next. This one's just a cube with the little extension, and I love this like pothos that I put. It's like I slipped it right in that log. A couple little red mushrooms, which is why I think the red butt matches pretty good, so. Some of these are like really calm, which is awesome. I have a feeling this one will not be calm because I accidentally, well, <laughs> destroyed its web on the way out, but look at it, oh, it's cute. And I think it's drinking. All right, three more to go. Who are we gonna do next? Let's just do like random. This, this one looks kind of small, so we'll do like, a small enclosure. Oh, you are so cute. <laughs> right in. Cowabunga. Yep, this is a good size. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go. Don't climb up. Don't climb up yet. Don't climb up. Don't climb up here. Perfecto. Awesome, okay, so we only have two more. 
which one looks bigger to you guys i think this top one looks slightly larger than this bottom one like this bottom one's kind of chonky but the top one looks bigger in general so we'll put the top one in the slightly larger enclosure this one's so cute too i love how this enclosure came out one of those target wreaths right here also pink little cat tree pink dish those are both from my friend at the bearded shrimp also known as leopard gecko talk out here on youtube but yeah spider wood and then i glued this adorable green lace around just for decor make it cute we'll be careful trying to open this because she i bet is going to be kind of skittish how did i know if you chill i will put you up by the camera oh my gosh really pretty colors check her out dang these are so pretty so this is the tyrelli probably thinking about bolting here we go <laughs> she webbed right into that oh but this is so cute i love it Okay, so we just have one left, and honestly, this is one of my favorite enclosures. I just thought that was so cute. Look at it. How cute is it? Just like the blue, the little blue hide with the blue mushroom. This one's pretty small, so I think it'll be perfect. Let's be careful, because we are bolty. All right, so that one is like the most well-behaved one out of all of them. So what a good little spider. Gonna put you right on the mushroom. Come on, buddy, check it out. That's for you. Look at that. This might be my favorite one. Why is it so chill? So yeah, that is pretty much it for now. Remember, I have my Salem plushie. There is still time to pre-order one. Once the pre-order is over, they will be gone forever. It is limited edition. Do you see these urticating hairs? They are not itchy at all. In fact, they feel quite lovely. If you want to get a Salem that you can pet and squeeze and just, you know, just, just go pre-order one really quick. Hurry, uh, comes with a gummy worm. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget, I have an Instagram video, it's probably way too much, it's at turnchill.cat, you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, it is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.